Well, we're back. Adam Drummond here with Phil Bamford from Online WHS, and we've had a bit of an overview of the new system, new and improved, looks fantastic. Now we're going to have a look at how mobile responsive this whole unit is. Now, take us through what we're looking at on the screen, Phil. Well, this is the new look on a mobile phone. Great. So now a person can literally just download the URL, put it on their home screen of their mobile phone. Yes. They can walk around, get a do a checklist, log an incident, do it, anything or get obtain anything from the system all from their mobile phone. And you were telling me earlier that there is a little button on this that says show me for those who haven't really used the system that much. What, what, what exactly does it show them? Imagine having a system that you can actually go, how do I enter an incident? And the system automatically highlights how to actually do that. Oh wow, so that looks like to me, it, it, it's basically like frequently asked questions that are most likely going to come up and it will then hyperlink to that exact spot that you need to go to. No, it won't hyperlink. It literally takes you through every single cell and every single field that you need to enter and it, it's literally me taking you through the system. Click this button, enter this and then takes you to a cell. Now select this button because you need to do this, this, this and this, it'll take you to the next field. Now enter this because this is going to happen. So it educates the person on actually using the system, how to complete an incident form, how to complete a hazard form, how to actually do anything within the system all by step-by-step -step instructions. Wow, fantastic. So we've talked about the responsiveness of the mobile phone app. We've talked about how you can actually be shown around the mobile app as well. Now QR codes, they're not used everywhere around the world as much as what we thought they might be, but for this particular application, QR codes are proving to be very popular. Why is that? The reason why is because it just makes it so easy for the end user to use. Yes, you saw how it looks on a mobile phone and you can download the URL and put it on your home screen of your phone and get access to it. But still, with a QR code, QR code, quick response code, so now I can actually literally scan that QR code and it would open up that incident form on my mobile phone and I do not have to even enter a username and password. Tell us a little bit about where these QR codes are stuck. So you've got, you've got clients from all sorts of different industries. Where do they stick these QR codes? How are they used? Some people. Oh, they've got them on a key ring. Put them on a key ring. Imagine having that on your excavator or your forklift or any machine that you are using. If I scan that QR code, it's actually going to bring up the pre-start checklist that I've built into the system and related it to the forklift. And it's going to not only save it in the checklist builder, but it's also going to save it in the forklift log. That's amazing. Yep. And uh, you not only that, you can actually, from that one QR code, I can not only do a checklist, I can log an incident, log a hazard, do maintenance, all from one QR code. All you have to do is literally say, scan that QR code reader. Wow. And, and so this is not just an information-based um, site that it's taking you to, it's completely interactive. That's right, it, it actually logs into your system. You're filling out your form. You can set email alerts to automatically alert you, for an example, if it was an incident or even if it was a checklist completed. You can imagine having it, you could build a checklist inside your system. You could put that QR code on that forklift or whatever vehicle you had. You can scan that QR code, complete it, and when that's completed, it'll actually email the manager to say that that QR code, that checklist has been done. Wow, that's about as interactive as you can get. It's as easy as you can get as well. So, I mean, it's hard to quantify, but that is saving an enormous amount on productivity, isn't it? I mean, the amount of phone calls, how do you start this thing, how do you get this, this, this is really saving on productivity for companies. Absolutely, we've got current clients, you know, because this functionality has been in the system for quite some time. But now with the new look on the phone, it's even better. People, you know, they're, they're loving it. But you're looking at, you know, they're putting it on their forklifts or back of the visor of their transport, the vehicles, they're putting it anywhere, everywhere. And you can scan it because any plant and equipment item you enter in the system, it creates a unique QR code for that plant item. When you build a checklist, it creates a unique QR code. Now you can print out the QR code in the system. Right and literally just laminate it and put it around. Or we've got these new plastic QR codes where you can actually order them from us and we can actually do them for you, send them out to you, and all of a sudden you've got a sturdy QR code 
and access to your system via your key ring. Exactly, and in this building that we're in, we've got a an elevator, for instance. Is that something that you would recommend we put the QR code on there if there's a, an elevator fault or an incident around the elevator, um, people could scan that QR code. They might even be people passing through that have got the QR reader on their phone, and that can take them through the steps of what to do in that sort of situation. Exactly, where well, they can log maintenance. You can actually create a maintenance form inside the online WHS system. Wow. And in that maintenance form, you could actually relate it to the elevator. And you can actually say, button's broken, whatever it may be, all yeah. the different maintenance types. Stick the QR code in that elevator, make it public, someone can scan that QR code, log maintenance, it'll automatically email alert the person that maintenance needs need to be done. Then you can actually farm that maintenance out to either an employee or to a contractor from your contractor management system because it has a complete module making sure all the contractors got all their qualifications, workers' compensation and so forth. They can come out and fix it and you can even enter the cost inside the system and identify exactly where your maintenance costs are coming this from. This is just incredible. Mate, if people want to find out more, I know that this is embedded on your website, but uh, you know you could be sending this out. How do people get in contact with you? Well, yes, they go to our website and you know whssystems.com.au and you know, there is a book of demonstration there. They can either do that, it, um, or we actually have monthly webinars. They can subscribe to our, our newsletter. I was just gonna say that because some people, I mean, I'm, I'm assuming that you're not traveling all over Australia or the world with your demonstrations. How do they, if they're, if they're remote to you, how do they book a demonstration? Is it watching a webinar? Yeah, we've got agents right across Australia as oh, well. Right. So it, um, so you know, we've got many agents right across Australia, but it, um, they can actually book in for a Zoom meeting, an yes. online meeting, but I've even done one better. So I've actually built a show me through, a WHS helper on demonstrating the system. Wow. So we can actually send a person a system and all they have to do is demonstrate online WHS and it's literally me taking you through all the major features of the system and how to use it. So many different uh, companies, so many different organizations out there that could really use this and it's going to increase your productivity, make your work environment safer as well. Phil Bamford, thanks for coming back. Thank you. Four years, it's been too long. <laughs> Maybe four years time to come back again. You'll see another four. Okay, bye for now.